Welcome back to Daily Wraps. Time for yay or nay. We call it happy time. Well, the debate over the Confederate flag, obviously heating up. So much so that it's part of every single one of our yay or nays tonight. First, we begin with Walmart, who says it will stop selling Confederate flags in its stores. It will continue to sell, however, Iranian and Cuban flags, including artwork featuring Cuban dictator Fidel Castro. Walmart selling Iranian flags and Castro art Yay or nay, Brad Hirschfield? I would sell it all and encourage people to vote with their pocketbooks. Don't buy the stuff you think is unethical, but don't have people back out of markets out of fear. Heather, it's just a PR move? I, I think it is just a PR move. It's up to them, and if that's what they want to do, but I think that I agree with Brad. Let people boycott if they don't like it. Right. I, actually, I agree, too. Free market, baby. And I don't think they had to stop selling Confederate flags. My beef with the Confederate flag, it's on state grounds. They can sell Confederate flags all they want. Okay. We have a bonus question, by the way. Should this flag coming up on your screen be banned? Yay or nay? Another flag that's going to be banned? Are you serious? Yes, <laughs> it is. Yes. The Conk the Republic. The Republic. We succeeded where others failed. It, now, this place actually does exist. It's in Key West. And you could buy all sorts of Conch, uh, Republic merchandise. I have one <laughs> hanging in my shed <laughs> in nice. shame because uh, who knows who the Conch Republic has oppressed over the years. If they go after <laughs> that flag, it's revolution, baby. The Absolutely. Guns are and, I, and, we're right together, and we're together we will on fight. this. We will fight for the Conch Don't Republic. Don't tread on me. Don't tread in your on shit. Don't I want it on, on your front conch. lawn. Yeah. And, and I have a super sofa. I no, want it no in the gun. state capital. You think so? No. Okay. Well, <laughs> could go on my roof. Maybe we'll New see. Jersey. Knows. Nice colors, though, though, right? Blue, yellow, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> Google searches for gun shops have decreased dramatically following the Charleston church massacre last week. According to Google's new trend tool, before the shooting in Charleston, searches for gun stores were significantly more popular than searches about gun control. However, in the 72 years, excuse me, hours following the shooting, the results practically switched with searches for gun control rising in popularity in about 45 states. Are we seeing a shift in opinion here regarding gun control over gunger. Not a chance. Okay, Heather? Uh, yeah, I don't think you can take that from this. Maybe they're looking to see what types of gun control laws are going to try to control them in the future. I Interesting. Think that Brad? No. no, there's not going to be any real change right now because of this. There's some trauma and there's an overreaction right. and we'll go back right to the red instead of the blue. Okay, pithy, condensed answers. Very nice. The classic Civil War era film, Gone with the Wind, that made box office records in its day. It only won Best Picture in the Academy Awards 1939 and featured the first black actor actress to ever win an Oscar is now coming under fire for racism as well as the ever-present <laughs> Confederate flag. Critics like Lou Limerick of the New York Post say the film glorifies the Civil War, among other things, and should only be featured in museums. Remember, this is the highest grossing box office of all time when you adjust it for inflation, about $1.6 billion. And the most important thing, 73% of all African Americans say it is either the best film of all time or very good. To quote Limerick, should Gone with the Wind go the way of the Confederate flag, yay or nay, Heather Hansen? No, you can't just brush your history under the rug because you don't like all parts of it. You yeah. have to talk about it, we all have to deal with it, absolutely not. Nick, it's not about even history, and, and Lou Limerick needs to get a, a better job. He's an idiot. It's a movie. It is not on state ground, and by the way, it's a period piece, which he's obviously never heard of. What are you supposed to make it with right. when it's about the Confederacy? I mean... Right. Hattie McDaniel won uh, an Academy Award for, 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 for Best Actress, and yeah, I think she's black. Last time, even Rachel <laughs> Dolezal yeah. would admit that she is black. Yeah. Look, I, it, my mother's favorite movie, Drag When I Was a Kid, never liked it, should be gotten rid of. <laughs> Absolutely not. Yeah, but see, this idea people that people never take that can't seriously. tolerate yeah. the presence of anything with which right. they don't agree, that's the real story here. And if we don't break out of that, we're going to have much bigger problems than that movie. There's a okay. difference between putting something on state property and that. Yep, that's true. So finally, Apple has removed all apps from their app store featuring the Confederate flag. The apps in question are mostly <laughs> Civil War battle games. Apple says only apps that use the flag in a, quote, offensive and mean-spirited way will be removed until developers can resolve the issue. Any apps that feature the flag for educational or historic uses will remain available. <laughs> Is Apple going overboard, yay or nay, quickly? Completely. Yeah, who is Heather, it's ridiculous. It's not well, wait, I could be using it aggressively, shooting at it. Yes, that's <laughs> a good point. All right, panel, thank you. We got to go. Newsmax Prime, J.D. Hayworth, that's next.